I don't think someone working for a third-rate company can match up with an elite like me. It's time we broke up. Marin Higurashi, my girlfriend since her first year of college, sighed as she spoke. A third rate? I know a venture company like mine can't be compared to a big company like yours, but I finally landed a job in my desired industry. And I'm satisfied. Good for you. But still, your salary must be low. My friend got a new designer's bag from her boyfriend the other day. And next week, they're spending a night at a luxury hotel. See? The quality of a woman's life depends on her boyfriend. You're judging people based on their income? That sucks! Marin was the Madonna of her university, so when she said she wanted to be my girlfriend, she was more than welcome. But now, I seriously regret my decision. Oh well. As someone who passed the university with top scores, I thought you would have a promising future. What a bummer. But you're heading in straight for poverty. And I don't want you to drag me in with you. Have I made myself clear? You have. I don't want to be with you anymore either. Let's end our relationship here. And we split up with each other just like that. Three years have passed since then. My name is Akebono Haruta. People called me Seisho Naga when I was in grade school. A poet from the Heian period. I'm turning 25 this year, and I work at a venture company specializing in online shopping and content sales. We're still developing, but I love this company's friendly, homey atmosphere. I joined this company to absorb knowledge and management know-how. Actually, I'm planning to launch my own company soon. My current goal is to design a mascot character for my own company, but I was struggling to come up with ideas. Aruta? Are you okay? Mr. President! I'm sorry, I was spacing out. It's alright. I noticed your posts have become less frequent today, so I was worried about you. The thing is, I've been busy with other things lately. I have a side job as an illustrator, and I post my illustrations regularly on social media. One day, when I was doodling during my lunch break, the president passed by, and he found out about my side job. I never expected he would know my illustrations. It was also surprising to find out that his daughter was my fan. Actually, I have a special favor to ask of you. Um, could you perhaps meet my daughter? Your daughter? I wasn't expecting that. But what happened? Recently, she's been shutting herself in even more. But as your fan, I was hoping she would come out if you came and visited her. She works from home, so it would be nice if she could get some hands-on experience interacting with people. The president has always taken care of me. If I can help him with something, I'll be glad to help. Sir, if that's the case, please let me help you. That's how I got to meet the president's daughter in the weekend. I can't believe it! It's Nagon Show Sensei! And he's for real? And this is his autographed illustration? Am I dreaming? I'll have no regrets if I die now! <gasps> oh, but I have to frame this autograph first properly! The president's daughter, Natsu Sanya, got incredibly excited when she saw me and my work. She was indeed my fan. Um, I was in a little bit of rush when I drew that. Will that be enough? Uh, of course it is. It's the best present I've ever received. If anything, I'm the one who should apologize for taking your valuable time. She barraged me with questions after that, but she seemed really happy, and that was what mattered the most. I really do appreciate you for coming over yesterday. Looks like Natsu had the time of her life. She spoke about you all night on and on. That you were a kind and handsome gentleman. Seems like you completely stole her heart. <laughs> Did she really say that? Oh, Mr. President, you do look tired. I told her that you're starting a business soon, and she was eager to help you. Really? She's got quite the determination. It pains me to see you leave, but we can stay connected that way. Mr. President... And once your business gets on track and Natsu wants to marry you, I'll gladly give her to you. Hold on a minute, sir. Things have jumped too far. And your daughter's only 19, right? She was still an elementary schooler when I turned 20, you know? The older you get, the less you'll worry about age. Do not let age differences worry you. <laughs> the present kept on asking for my favor till my last day. 
I really ended up offering his daughter a place in my company. Haruta, it's been a while now. I hope you don't mind me coming to see my daughter's big day. Please take good care of her. I'm counting on you. I it's a pleasure to work with you. Same here, Mr. President. It's such a pleasure to meet you again. How's everyone? I found out from Miss Saya's portfolio that she's incredibly talented at art. She already had some work experience in designing, and I wanted to help her by giving a chance to work outside. My company mainly focuses on content business using the characters I designed. After I gained some recognition as an illustrator, I started posting the character's illustrations to increase its visibility. And now that the character itself has become widely known, I started a marketing business using those characters. I've had positive feedback from social media too. I was afraid of losing some fans when I incorporated, but it turned out that it wasn't much of a problem. Thanks to the promotion events, our original goods have started to sell, and we're now receiving offers for collaboration projects. But to get things on track, I need one more push, some promotion idea that will increase the product's visibility regularly. <laughs> I can draw manga. My cousin used to nag me to draw all sorts of manga for her. Ooh, Miss Saya. Oh, you draw manga? I can post daily manga of our mascot characters in our official account. It won't cost much if we do it ourselves, would it? We can also add new characters. I designed this. Do you like it? That's an excellent idea. But this fish? Huh. Sounds good to me. If she can draw, let's go ahead and post it. The guy grinning at us is Hayao Yuizawa, my business partner. We've been friends since high school, and we had promised to start a business together in the future. So, what's this little fish's name? Give me a name that's cool and catchy. I've named him Love Koi Kun. He's got a charming appearance with a low, refined, handsome voice. Ah, bravo! I love the idea of giving him a voice. They're already enjoying it. I guess I'll leave this to you, Miss Sanya. Thanks to her manga, the characters gradually became even more popular and her fan base grew larger and larger. From what I've heard, Miss Sanya used to be an aspiring manga artist. Hayao was over the moon to see the figures growing. If it were just you and me, things wouldn't have gone so smoothly. Now beating Sun Dio and Sun X isn't out of the question. A small company like ours have to take on production work for other companies to barely keep our revenue. We still can't survive on our characters alone. We have to keep on doing our best. We also handle production work, like planning and developing characters for other companies. We're pretty short of manpower, so sometimes we have to outsource. I wonder what they'll like for a refreshment. Hayao will probably want an energy drink. And as for Miss Sanya, uh, something sweet maybe? I was looking around in the convenience store when I heard a familiar voice calling my name. Hey, Akebono, is that you? Why are you buying an energy drink on a Sunday? Are you working? It's been a while, Marin. Yeah, I've launched a company recently. What? You've launched a business before starting as a venture? That's why you're working your head off on Sundays too. It sucks. <laughs> I told you to join a major company. Why did you go to university in the first place? To study business management. Well, it's not the first time someone asked me that question. You bet. I mean, why choose to become a loser? You really are stupid. She threw those words at me and left the story with a man. I swear, I'll make it someday. I'll call the taxi now. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I was pushing you this far. A few days later, Miss Sanya collapsed from fatigue. I immediately took her to the reception room for a rest. I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble. I'm not finished with the social media posts either. It's alright. Don't worry. The posting can be scheduled again. If anything, I was the one who's been troubling you. I'm really sorry. I was so desperate to prove someone that they were wrong. But I guess the real problem was inside me. No worries. Actually, it's kind of cute of you to say that. Those who are really troublesome are people like my cousin. She forced me to draw manga and made me rewrite the story if she didn't like it. Once, she made me draw a love story of her and her love interest when their relationship didn't turn out well. Seems like she's got quite the strong character. At school, the only things that I was good at was drawing and creating manga. 
so I'd listen to people's requests, draw for them, and try to get their attention. Gradually, I started feeling like I was a drawing machine. I couldn't find the purpose of going to school, and I was never proud of myself. But I really like my job here. I can feel that I belong here as a member of the team. I'm so grateful to have met you and your works. I know I've caused you so much trouble, but will you let me stay and work with you? Of course you can! I'm so grateful to have met you too! If it were just Hayao and me, we wouldn't have come this far. Will you continue to lend us your powers? I will! I caught a glimpse of her expression through her hair, and for a moment, her smile shone brighter than ever. A few years later, Miss Sanya's character, Love Koi Kun, had become very popular. It created a sensation that it ended up taking over my character to become our company's mascot character. It was also featured on TV. After that, our character goods and stationery sold very well indeed. We also started receiving regular collaboration offers from other companies. Whoa! Listen, Akibono! We got a big deal this time! A collaboration proposal from a major company! Which major company? Hayao handed me the letter, and I found a very familiar name on it. It's a company where Marin is working. The proposal is great, but to be honest, I feel complicated. Marin? Oh, you mean your ex? Yeah, I feel a bit uneasy. Hayao, you're better at negotiations than me. Why don't you go? Cut the joke, boss. I have my own work to do, and to begin with, you're the representative. There was no reason to decline the big proposal, and Hayao was right. I'm the president of this company. So several days later, I visited the company with Miss Sanya. Did you hear? The people from Love Koi Kun's company are coming for a meeting today. I saw them heading to the meeting room. The president's name is Mr. Haruta, and he was pretty handsome. Haruta? Um, that character you're all talking about. Is it so popular? Miss Higurashi? Yes, it's been featured on the TV. And the president of the company is called Akebono Haruta. What? That Akebono? He's having a deal with our company? Thank you for your time. I appreciate you for considering the proposal, too. I feel like this will turn out to be a great project. By the way, is your other staff feeling okay? Ah, uh, yes. She seemed a bit nervous and went to the bathroom. She'll probably be back soon. I wonder if she's okay. Somehow, she insisted on coming today as the creator of Love Koi Kun. Miss Saya still wasn't used to crowded places, although she's gotten a little used to it than before. Hey there, Akebono! Just then, Marin came over with a sweet voice. I knew she would come. Miss Higurashi, it's been a while. Stop being so businesslike. Call me Marin, like you used to. Miss Higurashi, would you please mind your manners? This gentleman is our client. Well, just so that you know, Akebono was my boyfriend. You're always so uptight, that's why you never make a boyfriend. Oh, I suppose you wanted to get back with me so badly. Now that your works have become quite popular, I'll make up with you if you want. Why did I ever fall for a woman like this? I was so young and inexperienced back then. No way. Our relationship is over. Honestly, I don't like you at all now. Why? You finally caught up to my level. Be happy. Aren't you interested in the charms of a career woman? Hmm? Huh? You? Talking about career? The woman in charge mutters under her breath. Maybe she's still upset about being disgraced earlier. Caught up to my level? She's so silly. She's so terrible at her job and has been bumped around from one position to another. Frankly speaking, she's dead weight now. People around us held back their laughter. Maybe Marion is the type of person who couldn't do their job properly. Getting jealous because I'm cute, huh? I'm not like you guys, whose only worth is your work. People like you, who never contribute to the company, are out of the question. You also messed up our server the other day and accidentally deleted some of the files. Do you even realize how much damage you might have caused if there was no backup? It took hours to restore the files. Um, that's quite messed up. Who cares about that anymore? It's all solved. Everyone makes mistakes, you know. Do say that after you've done something worthwhile for the company. 
Um, Mr. Haruta, our sincere apologies for the trouble caused by our employee. I feel sorry for you, but I think it's time we excused ourselves and... You're so cold! I'm trying to do my best too, why is everyone blaming me? Just as I was about to leave, Mary burst out crying as if she were the victim. Cut it out. If you're really sorry, you wouldn't act like this. You're not taking this seriously enough. Don't say that! You're making me feel even more lonely and miserable. I don't care a damn about that. Mary kept on weeping and fussing, but a furious voice made her freeze. Madine! Get away from him! Wait, why are you here, Nachan? I... I work for him, and stay away from him. I won't allow you to come closer even if you're my cousin. Huh? Is Marin the cousin you were talking about? I accidentally called Marin by her name, which made Miss Sanya even angrier. You still address me formally, and yet you call Marin by her name? Why is that? Um, Marin and I used to be in a relationship. That's right. We were in love. But it's over, right? Marin, you always butter up to me and make me do everything you say. But I can't give Mr. Haruta to you, never! Because I love him. I was stunned at her words, but when I saw her eyes welling up with tears, I quickly reached out and grabbed her shoulders. I, I love you too! Marin's got nothing to do with me anymore. I want to have you as my girlfriend. I found myself confessing my love to her. R really? Miss Sanya turned bright red. The surrounding office ladies also looked stunned and covered their mouths in surprise. I if you'll have me, I'm welcome. Well, well, we have a couple now. What a drama. The ladies rushed off to spread the news. The woman in charge was also trying to hold back her laughter. May you have a long and happy... I mean, please take care on your way back. Pardon me, I forgot to remember my place. I lowered my head many times and left the company with Miss Sanya. Marin turned into ashes behind me, but I didn't care to look back. Don't go! Who's going to pay for me now? What about my future? Higurashi, get back to your desk already. It, it wasn't supposed to turn out like this. Why did this happen? For goodness sake, shut it! The lady dragged Marin back to the office where her boss severely scolded her. Marin became even more desperate after that and started flirting with other male employees in her office. But everyone knew about her problematic behavior and didn't engage with her seriously. She even seduced the lover of a senior female worker and saw hell after that. Figured she... How dare you! You will pay for this, and it's no use crying! I I'm terribly sorry! <laughs> Marin got punished so severely that she fled away from the company. Ever since that incident, Hayao called me the love-struck president and teased me for a while. Our collaboration project was a success, and her sales continued to thrive. I'm thinking of increasing her staff to expand her business. But that means you'll be spending more time with other women. I'm against that idea. Huh? We'll just be colleagues! Don't worry, Natsu. You're always my best. Guys, cut it out already! If you want to flirt, do it later! I recently realized that Natsu gets jealous quite easily. She frequently asks for my location when I'm out of office, and she seems to be curious about the contact details in my phone. Her love might be a bit intense, but at least it's not calculative. And above anything, she truly loves me. I'll keep on doing my best to keep the place you made for me. I was able to come this far with my enthusiasm and Natsu's support. I know that eagerness can open new paths. I promise to keep that in mind and continue to work hard.